hello 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 welcome to this beginner guide to graphic design smartphone course so if you can see this video this video is made for one of the course i co-hosted with a friend so uh today we'll be working on this flyer using our smartphone and the app we'll be using is called pixel lab so i'll be showing you to a to z on how you can create this using pixel lab okay so now without wasting much of your time let's get right into pixel lab so this pixel lab is it over here so this is the uh this kind of a premium pixel lab i'm using so uh there's a link in the links uh, there's a link in the description of the videos i dropped yesterday at a group that will show you how you can access this pixel lab also so if you've not watched this video i bet you should watch that video even before watching to this video because to this video i will be showing you how you can design flyer i won't be going to deep into the feature of pixel lab so uh let's get right into the flyers we want to create so to get the exact size used for the flyer i showed earlier we need to go over to this box icon down here so go over to this box icon and go from from gallery we want to use the exact size of that flyer so we won't make mistake and uh, i have the uh where is the, okay i have the uh this is stuff this is the picture over here so i won't recrop i won't do anything to it i'll just bring it straight to our uh, pixel lab and i have it over here now so let me just change the color so i can i can see i have the uh, size okay this is over here so let me bring in the picture again the design again so that i can we can just work with this right here on pixel lab so right now the first thing we need to do now is to get the exact background the exact background use so to do that also we're still on this place icon we we'll go back to color and we'll be using this color we'll be using this gradient what this gradient does is that it helps you use two or more color it helps you mix two or more color together on your design so go back to gradients click on this plus icon and um, we'll be working with this over here we'll be working with this over here so with this gradient stuff i just take the top corner right here so now for the next thing we'll pick the first color the first color i want to use is this so we'll go over pick it over here i'll pick this black reddish color here and we have it over here and for this second one we'll go over here click pick this and um we'll pick on this middle red or con red color over here so just increase it a little bit and we have something like this so we have something like this to work with just like the one on this flyer just like the one on this flyer so the next thing to do now is to bring in the image this picture of a chair use over here so go back to my gallery all these resources i will release them into the group or in the description of this video for you to access them so we'll be using this chair pictures though we didn't get the exact one but we can also use this also so let me just increase this and um copy this and let me delete the first one so and so we'll be working with this so let me just resize let me increase and just resize add them so we can just leave it right over here so lock this so it won't disrupt our work so bring this to the front bring this to this front and we have something over here for this logo uh, let me show you if i have a uh, logo we can use uh just no not the exact logo actually but something we can just use so uh let me go over to my logos over here uh um, i'm not sure if we have anything relatable we can use let, let me just use this funny uh funny stuff over here so i'll go we add over with this though it doesn't work well let me reset it i don't like it so i'll reset the logo i'll reset the logo and um um let's use this golden penny stuff this golden penny stuff so um, let me just re rotate let me rotate let me just rotate for the sake of this video for the sake of this video so 90 so reduce the size i just place it top right here i just place it at the top right here so let me go over here so if like if for you to know uh the exact to know the picture of this pixel app so you need to watch the videos i put on the group yesterday so you need to watch it then before you get this so then the next thing i need to work with uh this call for worker so bring in a text and we just write call call we write it as it is written call over here so I'll go okay so the font used uh i'll be using this railway font railway font over here so i'll be using this for this not the exact one but it's related it's kind of similar to what is used so i'll just increase the text let me give it let me put it at 110 let me put uh, let's put it at 110 and the next thing is worker call for worker 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 it is written workers actually workers actually and let me change the font let's reduce the font i think they use a lesser boat okay let's use this okay um, it's not good okay let's just undo 
and let's use uh, the bold one this black railway so we have this over here now so uh, what you need to do now is to reduce the size uh, the spacing in between reduce the spacing in between and let's increase the size it's kind of bigger than the core so increase the size and um, we have this over here now the next thing you need to do is just write for that wall four four so you just have to be creative and walk around so just follow this guide and um we should laugh sorry so we need to work with this and just put a four over here put this four over here let's see just let it align with this so we have something like this we have something like this okay the next thing now is to bring in this yellow so to do that go over to shape and uh, just okay let's work it around over here let's work around over here so you don't have to get too uh, mad or too, too creative okay so reduce the size to five and let's pick the color so just like we did for the background go back to this pick icon click on the image color you want to pick and just move around the pick and you have this okay okay and we have this so we can walk around with this let me copy this let me copy this and delete this the reason why i do that is just like this okay hey, we have this over here now so just reduce bring this a little bit slower okay no let's take it up high again and we have this okay let me just for okay let's write kitchen assistant uh bringing a test bringing a test and just write um kitchen assistant needed uh kitchen assistant needed and the waitress are you i think it was and the waitress so this i think they use a lot they capitalized it okay so um, let's use this font we, we still be using that railway font but we're using the uh regular let's use the regular okay i think the regular goes with it so reduce the size it's not big like that so we reduce the size and um reduce the size over here and um so let's still reduce okay let's give it leave it at 20. okay let's leave it like that okay so let's reduce this okay and we have this also okay the next thing now we need to bring in this red uh red background red background stuff so go back to shape again and done just move it around move it around like you can see right here just move it the red uh it's kind of bigger than the rest okay it's kind of bigger than this so um so the radius also five uh pick also color go back to picker and select this color so you can just you can just wait around and write all this text i won't be writing on this text just to save time and make this video short for you guys to watch so just wait around and write all this stuff and put it and submit so the next thing uh important is just drop application and which is more important so for the last part of this video i want to show you how you can use this shadow there's something like a shadow at the back at the back part like can see around here there's the shadow so to do this go over to shape over here and just you know just walk around go over and now uh, we'll be going over to gradient also so go back to this gradient gradient here so it's the first color go back to gradient and just select something like this so here click on this first color and make sure it's dark make sure it's dark and this second one uh reduce your opacity down here make sure you bring this third slider to this left extreme left hand side to this extreme left hand side like this okay we have this so can you see now this is what i'm talking about so just put it to the back and um we have something exactly like this so to do that take this to the back take this to the back okay not to the front okay and we have this over here so this is exactly how to create that gradient stuff create that gradient stuff so the next thing we just have to do is just write in the test and blah 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 so can you see that we have created something similar to that i think this is kind of too big let's reduce the size this is kind of too big and let's reduce this also so i uh, think we are good with this so just move around move around move around okay so the next thing now just let's align this stuff together so go over to this two over here just align it so let's make them align so let me leave it like this and now i just make it touch here and um also for this also for this so i just make them touch this angles so now what i just want you to do is just replicate this exact stuff all the resources will be sent to the group or the description of this video just make sure you work with it work with it and um submit your assignment to the group for corrections submit them for corrections and um 
we are good to go so let me just so i think we are good with this we are exactly we are good to go with this so just write in the text and the text below and we are good to go so thank you for watching this video replicate this exactly and send to the group for correction thank you for watching